everybody. This is Brad Nessler. With me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. No weather can affect us here today. We're in the dome for our contest between the LSU Tigers and the Seminoles of Florida State. Happy New Year from all of us at EA Sports. This one should be a fun game to watch. Here come the Seminoles. Kirk, how do you see this one? This really looks like a deadlock. This could go to either team. Florida State has a guy at wide receiver that everybody's talking about, and for good reason. He's the strength of this offense, an offense that can really spread the ball around. Lee, watch for him to come up big in this one. I know everyone has been waiting. It's time for my pick. The Tigers will win this one. Florida State has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. Sends it sailing downfield. Reed fields it in the end zone. Tries to juke. They'll start this drive at the 25. At the 25 yard line. First and 10. The Tigers line up in an I formation. Up the middle of the fullback. Bryant with a takedown. A gain of three yards by the fullback. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 28. LSU lines up in a double tight set. There's the play fake. He passes it. Brown drops it. Brown, the intended receiver on the play. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on their own 28. Nickel defense. Baker still has it. Looks. He's going to go for the home run. Incomplete, and he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. They line up to punt this one away. He punts it. Back fields it to the 37. Well, we've seen one offensive drive stall. Let's see how this offense does with their first possession. One of the best football players you're going to see on the field today is this young man at linebacker. He goes 110% and really makes offenses game plan around him. He has a nose for the football and always seems to be in on the tackle. And he can drop back in the coverage, too. He's a complete linebacker. Tackle. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the hole. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. Whitworth has four receivers lined up here with the throw. Batted ball. The corner made a good play on the ball. He sure did. This kid is very athletic. If he doesn't get a pick, he does his best to knock the ball down. So it's second and ten. Ball right around midfield. They come out with three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. He's looking. Across the middle. And it's caught. People brings him down. So they execute and move a little closer to the sticks. Yeah, completing those short passes is the key because it lulls the defense to sleep a little bit. Then you can launch one big one downfield for a big game. Third and four. Ball on the 43. They come out in a goal line set. Go with the run. And down he goes. 
A great stop there, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Before you start to blame the offensive line, really give this defense some credit. They just did a great job. Florida State lining up the front. Hangs it up high. Jones signals for a fair catch. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll get the ball here at the 20. The Tigers go with the I formation. Baker will hand it off, and he's going to lose yards on this one. That blitz couldn't have worked any better for the defense or any worse for the offense. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. LSU comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Davenport gets it off. And he's tackled. That's four yards on the play. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 24. The Tigers come out in a bunch formation. Back to pass. Looking. Pressure coming. And that one's falling incomplete. Well, the defense did tall there. Well, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. LSU lining up the punt. He gets it away. Back fields it at the 38. They're just about ready to get this drive started. After their last series had some promise, but it ended with a punt. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. They line up in the shotgun. Whitworth drops to throw. Looks. Wants to throw outside. And it's the senior. Norwood with a takedown. Way to look it in. Nice get. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Seminole come out in the ace formation. He drops back. He steps up, throws it to the outside. That close to being intercepted. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. Holding on the offense. 10 yard penalty. Don't They'll be down. called for an infraction. That will put them back a few paces. Man, the coaches are going to have to talk to these young guys about committing unnecessary fouls. First it's first and a mile. Ball, ball on the 35. Going with the shotgun here. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He tosses it short. And it's incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 35-yard line. Whitworth lines up in the shotgun. Steps up in the pocket. Throws it to the outside. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. You got to be careful throwing in the coverage like that. Well, coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. Here's a third and long situation. Ball on the 35. Florida State goes with the ace set here. Whitworth back to throw. He's looking under heavy pressure. Chandler comes away with a sack. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. Hey. 
The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. He punts it away. It's a high kick. Jones calls for the fair catch. They'll down the punt at the one. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive, and they were forced into a three and out. Boy, a boy, they had nothing for them. And maybe Spitter need to get out there and show them for me. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. The Tigers line up in a goal line formation. Baker to the air on first down. Walks this one out to the left. Taylor brings him down. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the six. Two tight ends here. With a takedown, the running back gets two on the carry. We've got third and three here. Ball on the eight-yard line. LSU lines up in a goal line set. Davenport on the run. Massey brings him down. They look to be outmanned on that series, guys. Not even one first down. That's not what the offensive coordinator had in mind. Yeah, but I can't argue his play calling. They just didn't execute. They line up to punt this one away. He gets it away. Back deep into the 45. Little shake and bake move. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll go to work at the 41-yard line. Florida State lines up in a shotgun set. They'll throw on first down. He's looking down the middle. Finds his receiver. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Second and one. Ball on the 32-yard line. The Knowles line up with two tight ends. Kaplan steps back to pass. Throws down the middle. Incomplete. He may have been seriously injured on that play. Oh, I feel sorry for that poor kid. You hate to see kids get hurt that way. It's third down and a yard for the first down. Ball on the 32. Florida State will line up in a jumbo set here. Davis with the give. And they hit him in the backfield. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed them. LSU has one of the top defenses in the nation. Have a look at the stats. Well, I'll tell you what. This whole defense seems to be full of All-Americans. No doubt about it. These kids are the real deal, my friend. Davis with a monster hit. Well, they'll turn it over on down. Did they have to go for it there? Well, sometimes you got to take your chances. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. They'll take over at the 34. LSU comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Baker on play action. Wants to throw outside. Complete. They'll bring him down. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. LSU lines up with three receivers. Nice play fake. He rolls out to the right. Throws this one out to the right. Nice pass, just wasn't caught. And when you're a tight end, you usually don't get too many passes thrown your way. So you got to catch the easy ones. It's second down and 10 to go. Wall right around midfield. 
They line up in a double tight set. On the ground with the tailback. And he's hit hard. Oh, man. He'll feel that one in the morning. That's called making a statement. When you get into the backfield like that and put somebody on their back, it really sends a message. Ball on their own 46. LSU lines up for the shotgun set. Looking, it falls incomplete. He let that one go before the defense got to him, and it fell incomplete. Sometimes if you can safely get rid of the ball, it's your best option. Lining up the punt. Goff punched it and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Beck signals for a fair catch. He hauls it in at the 23. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll start this drive at the 23 yard line. From the gun. He drops back. He steps up, throws it to the outside. Found his man. Larson brings him down. Move those sticks. That's a first down. And a great catch, too. Did you see how he looked that one in? Well, there's no doubt about it. He can catch the football. First and ten, ball right around midfield. And so we've reached the end of quarter number one, and we're all tied up. First and ten, ball right around midfield. Whitworth with four wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. Throws this one out to the right. And he dropped it. The big guy let it go through his fingers. The tight end's hands are all torn up and his knuckles are swollen from blocking every day in practice. You gotta give this guy a break. I don't know about that, coach. Nowadays, tight end's gotta be able to do more than just block. He should have caught that ball. Second it's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 48. Florida State comes out in the shotgun. Tackle. A gain of six. Third and four. Ball on the 42-yard line. Florida State lines up in a bunch formation. Whitworth with a nice play fake. Comes across the middle, and he pulls it down. First and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Whitworth comes to the line with three wide. They'll throw on first down. Throws it to the outside. Almost intercepted. Almost a turnover. As a quarterback, I can tell you that those are the only types of drops we like to see. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. Wants to throw outside, and it's caught. Great concentration. So they get about four yards from play action. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The Knowles line up with four wideouts. Throws to the middle. Someone got a hand on it. 
Nice timing by the safety to get in there and knock it away. That's what his job is, and he did it perfectly on that play. Here we go. They'll try to make this a field goal game. The kick is up. And it sails through the uprights. The fine folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary of how that drive took place. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it. Reed fields it in the end zone. So the offense takes over. And they'll try to figure out this defense. They forced him to punt the last time they had the ball. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 20. The Tiger line up with two tight ends. Dump this one off. Complete. Johnson with a takedown. They complete the play action pass for a pickup of three. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 23. Bunch formation. Drops back to pass. He tosses it short. And it's caught. Johnson with a monster hit. So they execute, move a little closer to the sticks. Completing those short passes is the key because it lulls the defense to sleep a little bit. Then you can launch one big one downfield for a big game. We get third and three here. Ball on the 27 yard line. They're lining up in the 5 2. They'll bring him down. Nice defensive stand there. And some good play calling defensively. They always had someone in the right spot to make a play and force the play in it. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Punts the ball away. Back takes it at the 32. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll set up shop at the 38-yard line. They'll bring in their dime package. Back to pass. Looks with the throw. Larson with a takedown. No gain. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. The Knolls come out in a two tight end set. Drops back and pass. Short talk. About a seven-yard pickup that time on the pass. It's third down and three to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. And they better keep an eye on that tight end. Rolling out to the right side. Wants to throw that side. Brought down. First and ten. Ball on the 46. Florida State 
Comes out in the shotgun. He drops back. Steps up. Throw. And they make the stop. He caught it, but the reward was minimal. I don't know, Brett. I don't know what the quarterback saw, but hey, at least it wasn't a sack or an interception. It's second down and nine to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Whitworth lines up with the shotgun. Whitworth set to go to the air. Throws down the middle. Finds the man again. Chandler brings him down. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. First and ten. And this is the sixth play of the drive. Florida State lines up in a bunch formation. Wants to throw outside. And that one's fallen incomplete. The blitz was very effective that time. Yep, they brought the house. And it was all they could do to get the ball out of there. So it's second and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. Whitworth with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Short to off. Complete, and he's taken down. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Well, they're in the red zone, Lee. What do you think their chances are? It's the good news, bad news situation. The good news is they're in the red zone. The bad news is they aren't very good when they get down. They get the defense running one way and go with a reverse, and they get the touchdown. You know, when it comes to trick plays, there's a certain time to call. You call them at the right time, they work with perfection. It shows you good coaching, knowing when to call the reverse to catch that defense napping. He missed the extra point. The fine folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary of how that drive took place. Florida State to kick, Reed, and Blanchard back ready to return. Sends it sailing downfield. Blanchard fields it in the end zone. He jukes it. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll get the ball here at the 14-yard line. The Tiger come out in the ace formation. Drops back to pass. And they get the sack. LSU takes a timeout. Second and 15. Ball on the nine yard line. Baker lines up in the shotgun. Baker, back to throw, steps up in the pocket, wants to throw outside. Oh, he could have had a big reception that time, guys. Just let that one get away from his vision, just for a split second. Third and 15 coming up, ball on the nine. The Tigers go with the eye formation, good move. And they got him for a loss. Florida State calls a timeout. They line up to put this one away. Go. 
Goff punts it, and it's a good one. Beck takes it at the 49. Inside the 30. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll take over at the 20 yard line. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He's on the run. Chandler with a takedown. Florida State takes a timeout. Red zone numbers. Red zone, when performance matters the most. Whitworth with the play fake. Going to the end zone. My goodness, guys, that was a spectacular play by the wide receiver. The coach has gone to great lengths to shepherd his receivers. We've seen the results on the field. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac Drive somewhere. Like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Reed fields it in the end zone. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show what you know that. Somebody get me a helmet quickly. They'll start this drive at the 21. LSU. Lines up in a double tight set. They'll throw on first down. Over the middle. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. And this impact receiver is looking to make a play. He's in the zone. Got it to him on the run. Williams brings him down. LSU calls a timeout. First and 10. Ball on the 45. Three wide outs here. Nice play fake. And they got it. The fourth-year man at defensive end brings down the quarterback for the sack. That's exactly what you'd expect out of a senior. Big plays to fire this defense up. LSU comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Baker gives it up the middle. Jordan with a takedown. A seven-yard run by the running back. The Tigers come out in a two-tight end set. Up the middle. Has some daylight. Jordan brings him down, and they get a nice gain on third down. Remember when we talked to the coach? He mentioned that he wanted to run the ball against this defense, and he felt that he may have some success. Well, they had some success on that play. He's into the open field. Tackle, and again they run the same play. This is getting ridiculous, but you know what? I don't blame them. If they can consistently get good runs like this, why change? Baker with the give, makes a move. Jordan with the takedown. LSU takes a timeout. This one should be makeable. Is 
It's up. And it is good. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. LSU is ready to kick it away. Beck and Alston set to return. Kicks it off. Alston fields it in the end zone. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Florida State 16, LSU 3. We'll see what kind of halftime adjustments were made as we prepare to start the second half. Kicks it deep. Beck fields it in the end zone. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Maybe we jinxed him, guys. I don't know. We had nothing but great things to say about this linebacker, but so far, we haven't heard his name on many tackles. He just hasn't been a factor in today's game, and it's part of the reason why they're losing right now. Keep in mind, there's a lot of football to be played and many more opportunities for this guy to make his presence felt. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result was the first down. It's first and 10, ball on the 33. The Seminole line up with two tight ends. Henry on the give, sheds a tackler. He broke his ankles. Look out, man. Kirk, did you see that? Did I? I'm just surprised he got up from there. That's how you deliver a big hit. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 41. Bunch formation. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Over the middle. And he can't hang on to it. The pass was right there. Just couldn't be controlled. Just tied in some more passes in practice. He needs all the help he can get. Third and two. Ball on the 41-yard line. The Knowles line up in a goal line formation. Third and short, and they hand it off. And down he goes. And that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. It's first and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. The Seminole come out in the shotgun. He steps up, throws this one out to the right. He breaks free inside the 30. And they push him out, and they badly needed that interception. It's sure going to help. If they can march down the field and score, watch out. We might have a game here. Set up shot at the 23-yard line. First and ten. They come out at a nickel. Baker fakes a handoff. He rolls out to the left. He's going left. And it's incomplete. Guys, the pressure was intense, but he let it fly into the end zone anyway. Unfortunately, none of his receivers could get to the football. That's a great play by the defense to make him throw the ball before he wanted to. So it's second and ten. Ball in the 23. LSU lines up in a double tight set. Davenport on the handoff. He has some room. 
Taylor brings him down. And guys, with that run, it's 1,500 yards on the season. What I've been impressed with all year long is the way this guy's earned those yards, oftentimes breaking two, three tackles before someone finally brings him down. Have a look at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The kicker got them points on their last Red Zone visit. Let's see if the offense can get points this time. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. And the secondary better be careful. This receiver wants to make a play. They run a counter. They'll drop him for a loss. No place to go that time, and the offense loses a yard or two. Nice job of plugging up all the gaps and the possible cutback lanes by the defense. On the 11 going in. And they have three bunched. Back to pass. He's looking. Throws this one out to the left. And it's intercepted in the end zone. And now he's got room to run. And they'll return this one all the way. Touchdown! How about that defensive play? What I liked here was the way the defense reacted as soon as the ball was thrown. It allowed him to come up with the interception. And I did like the decision by the quarterback. He's a smart kid. He knows better than to throw a pass like that. And he hits the PAT. Over four minutes remaining here in the third quarter. And the score, Florida State 23, LSU 3. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Here's the kick. Blanchard fields it in the end zone. Great job by the defense last time forcing the pick. I wouldn't be surprised to see a few runs here by the offense to start things off. They'll get the ball here at the 19. LSU comes to the line with three wide. Stepped up. He goes downtown. The true freshman has it. Now that was a good looking play. The quarterback put it where his receiver could get it, and now they have a first down. What I like is the faith that this quarterback has in his receiver. He's not afraid to throw it downfield. It's first and ten. Ball on the 27 yard line. High formation here. Baker on first down. Short corner. And it's caught. Jordan with a takedown. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. LSU goes with the ace set here. Davenport on a pitch out. Massey brings him down for a loss. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 23-yard line. The Tigers line up with three receivers bunched. Drops back to pass. Comes across the middle. Complete to the true freshman. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down.
LSU comes out with an eye formation. Baker drops back. He's going left. Incomplete. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. And they have three receivers bunch. They're going to pitch it. Takes off a tackle. And he's stopped behind the line. Nice tackle to bring him down before he got back to the line of scrimmage. Solid effort there to break up that play. They come out with three wide receivers. He drops back. Looking. Wants to throw outside. He's knocked out of bounds. Superb catch by the wide receiver for the score. And he tacks on the extra point. Time to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. And remember, the good folks at Pontiac have been bringing you fuel for the soul since 1926. LSU lines up for the kickoff. Alston and Beck deep to return. Kicks it deep. Beck fields it in the end zone. This defense did a nice job last time around forcing the interception. And now you find out how much faith they got in this kid. Do they run the football or they let her rip? They'll take over at the 20. Whitworth comes to the line with three wide. Play action, rolls right, looks. He wants it all, going long. It's tipped. The corner made a good play on the ball. He sure did. This kid is very athletic. If he doesn't get a pick, he does his best to knock the ball down. Second and 10, ball on the 20. And the man at wideout is in a zone right now. Whitworth, back to pass. Across the middle, complete. Johnson brings him down. Good job on the pass there. Yeah, let me tell you something. These passes are exactly what they need to put pressure on that defense. Third and two coming up here. Ball on their own 28. Florida State will line up in a jumbo set here. Third and short, and they'll throw for it. He's looking. Throws this one out to the left. Across midfield, at the 40, down the sideline. And they tackle him. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. You're right, Brad, and that was a long pass play. As a coach, you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. at our Old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Florida State lines up in a shotgun set. It's a direct snap. Touchdown, Seminole. A powerful run by the halfback to reach Pater. Yeah, he's hot. Keep giving him the rock.
and he hits the PAT. So with less than two to go in the third quarter, our score, Florida State 30, LSU 10. Morris looks ready to kick this one off. He kicks it. Blanchard fields it in the end zone. The offense with a lot of success through the air on that last drive as they moved it down the field for the touchdown. They'll go to work at the 20. LSU lines up in a double tight set. He's tackled. And with that run, he's now gone over 1,500 yards on the year. Wow, what a great season for this kid. He's met most of the preseason expectations that were set for him by his coaches. He's got to be happy about that. LSU sets up in the eye. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. It's deflected. Excellent job of getting a hand in there to break up the pass. It was, Coach. That one had reception written all over it, but the defender stepped up and made the play. The Tigers line up in an eye formation. The stop maybe got two feet on the foot. So they're set to punt this one away. Goff gets it off. Back takes it to 28. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. They'll start this drive at the 44. Whitworth with four wide receivers. High snap. Throws this one out to the right. That close to being intercepted. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 44. Florida State comes out with an eye formation. Whitworth steps back to pass. Got hit as he threw. It's dropped. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. Third and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. The Knowles come out in the shotgun. Looking. He's going left. He's got it on the run. What an amazing catch, first down. Boy, Brad, you said it. That is a big-time play there. Spectacular catch and great body control there on the long pass reception. It's first and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. Steps up in the pocket. Across the middle. His receiver has it. Touchdown, FSU. And for that young man, it's touchdown catch number two. Hey, this guy's really stepped up for his football team today. Well, it's obvious the coach wanted to get him involved in the game plan. It looks like it was a pretty smart move, too.
And he tacks on the extra point. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Florida State to kick this one off. Florida State is lined up for the kickoff. Kicks it off. Blanchard fields it at the two. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. They'll set up shot at the 21. Baker comes to the line, three wide. He steps up, wants to throw outside. Across midfield, at the 40, at the 30. He's all the way down to the 22-yard line. Wow, nice catch. Way to look it in. Heck of a job by the wide receiver. These guys are moving the ball down the field. Heading to the fourth quarter. This one is well in hand. With the score, Florida State 37, LSU 10. First and 10. Ball on the 22. High formation here. Baker set to go to the air. He's going left. It's deflected. Good defense there, guys. I wonder if the quarterback was expecting to see man coverage there because he threw it right to the defense. And that's what's so tough about playing against a zone. You think a guy's open, and out of nowhere, a defender shows up. Just like that. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. The Tigers go with the I formation. Baker. With a takedown, the halfback picks up a yard. Third and nine, ball on the 21. The Tigers come out in a bunch formation. Back to pass, he'll dump this one off. Has it to the senior. Well, he caught it, but it's almost no yards gain, and now it's fourth down. Give props to the D here for coming up with a big stop on third down. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice red zone, when performance matters the most. The Tiger come out in the ace formation. Baker drops to throw. Looks. Rolls to the right, wants to throw outside. He brings it down, touchdown. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. But he has the speed to stretch the defense and his hands are getting better every single game. And he hits the PAT. So with just over six minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, our score, Florida State 37, LSU 17. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Alston fields it in the end zone. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. They'll take over at the 21-yard line. First and 10. 
Whitworth. Hand it off. He tries to spin. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. Second, Second down and 12. 12. Ball, Ball on their own 19. Florida State yeah. comes out in the shotgun. He gets the pass away. Yo, you can credit that incompletion to the pass rush. Great job of not letting the quarterback get comfortable back there. He didn't throw a good pass at all. All that, Kirk. He was under pressure. Unbelievable pressure. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on the 19-yard line. The defense lines up with 6 DB. He drops back. He's looking. Steps up across the middle, and it falls incomplete. Oh, he had his man, too. Yep, he's just overthrew him. Next time, he might want to take something off of it. They line up to punt this one away. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Reed takes it to 32. And he's hit hard. What to look for in this drive is to see how often the defense changes up its coverages. They didn't defend the pass very well that last drive, so it's going to be interesting to see if they play them differently here. First and ten. Ball on the 31. LSU sets up in the eye. He jukes. Brought down. They'll get nine yards on the play. It's second down and one to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. The Tigers go with the eye formation. Baker sets up the play action, and it's caught. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and 10. Ball on the 48. The Tigers come out in the ace formation. Baker on first down. Across the middle. Complete. And down he goes. Seven-yard play. The second down and three to go. Ball on the 45. Trips right. Steps up in the pocket. Short toss. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. Third down and three coming up. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. The Tigers go with the I formation. The run of power with a fullback. Alston brings him down. Well, Kirk, he managed to get enough there to move the chain. Yep, that's a great effort there by the running back to be able to get the ball upfield and pick up another valuable first down. First and ten, and this is the sixth play of the drive. The Tigers come out in a two-tight end set, and he's tackled. Didn't get anything. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. LSU lines up in a shotgun set. Williams with a takedown. The quarterback gets a couple on the draw play. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. They better block that linebacker. He is looking to make something happen. Baker drops back to pass. He's rolling left. He lets it go deep down the middle. 
He came down with it. Touchdown. And that was his third touchdown pass of the game. And that last one was the best of the bunch, if you ask me. Great throw. Great catch. And he tacks on the extra point. This drive summary is brought to you from our good friends at Pontiac. Looks like they're going to try an onside kick here. With the onside kick. They were really looking to get the ball back. Yeah, but it's not over yet. They can still get a three and out or come up with a turnover. They'll get the ball here at the 22. At the 22-yard line. First and 10. High formation here. Whitworth gives it up the middle. Chandler brings him down. Short little gain there. Just trying to keep that clock running. Keep that clock running and keep that other offense off the field. Right. It's second, second down and eight to go. Ball, ball on the 24. They line up in an eye. Flags are all over the place and they'll blow it dead. Offside. On the defense. Five the defense Five lends them a hand with that penalty. Gosh, giving up penalty yards is so frustrating, isn't it? Second and three coming up. Ball on their own 29. Takedown. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Well, it doesn't look like it's too serious, guys, but you never know. Sometimes those small injuries turn into seizing ending ones. Third, Third down and a yard. Ball on the 31-yard line. They put everyone up on the line. With a nice play fake, he's going right. He led his wide receiver too far to the outside. Yeah, he just had to pull the string a little bit more there. They line up to put this one away. It's off, and it is a dandy. Reed calls for the fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 21. Thanks to some nice passing on the last drive, the offense was able to take it down the field for six. A great play calling to help make that an easy drive. The question is, can they do it again? They line up in a double tight set. Baker set to go to the air. Comes across the middle. Someone got a hand on it. Great range as he's able to break up the pass. I know that the safety makes a good play here, but as a receiver, you got to get in there and play some defense. He's lucky that one wasn't intercepted. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Six DBs in the lineup. Baker off the fake. It falls incomplete. Ran the intended receiver on the play. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 21. The Tiger come out in a bunch formation. 
Baker back to throw. He steps up, throws down the middle. Got it. And he's taken down. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't it, Coach? Oh, yeah. This offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. They'll run the option. Laterals back. Big opening. Brought down. We've got a flag down on the field. Might have been offside. Offside. On the defense. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 43. They'll work from the shotgun. Steps up, looking. He's in trouble. And he's going to come up with a sack. The tackle got embarrassed that time, allowing the end to come free for the sack. That's what you call a lookout block. The tackle gets beat and yells, look out! Trust me, it's not what you want to hear as a quarterback. Lines up in a double tight set. Davenport gets it on the inside. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. Baker lines up in the shotgun. Looks, steps up in the pocket. Aaron and out ball. And that one's fallen incomplete. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. LSU comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. And he can't get the pass off. And he's sacked. Not much of a chance on that one. Well, he had to go for it. We're at a point where there's not much time left, and you got to put it all on the line. They'll go to work at the 45-yard line. High formation here. And straight ahead we go with a pullback. Ball is loose, fumble. Cooper brings him down. That might turn out to be a big, big turnover. Excellent job by this defense to get in there and force the fumble. That couldn't have come to better time. Yeah, because they needed two scores, and they needed them quickly. Let's see how they respond with the football now. They'll set up shot at the 45. Let's see if they look to Whiteout's way. He is in the zone. Throws it to the outside. And he overthrew his wide receiver. I don't know too many seven-foot guys play football, so maybe he should aim lower the next time. Second and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. The Tiger set up in the gun. He steps up. Throws short. And it falls incomplete. I know that pass was fired pretty hard, but you still have to catch it. That's right. The only reason it's out there is to catch the football. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 45. The Tiger line up with two tight ends. He's looking. He'll dump this one off. Tackle. LSU calls a timeout. Set back to you. Baker steps back to pass. Looking. He's rolling right. Throws down the middle. Jordan with a takedown. LSU takes a timeout. First and ten. Ball on the 32. LSU comes out in the shotgun. Drops back to pass, steps up, looks, and there's a fumble. It's scooped up, and it's a lineman this time. And they hit him in the backfield. 
Are they lucky or what? The quarterback, very fortunate that one of his guys recovered the football. Yeah, he's got to be more careful out there. Either tuck that thing away or just get down before contact. I don't care what he does. Just don't fumble, that's all. Do whatever you have to do to protect that football. LSU calls a timeout. situation here on third and long. This is the seventh play of this drive. LSU comes out with five receivers. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Here they come. And he's drilled at the 46. the end of the ball game. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? I don't know about you guys, but I was pretty darn impressed with this bunch of kids. Florida State faced a pretty good opponent in this one, but they just marched right through them. I'm telling you, these guys are for real. We here at EA Sports, thank you for watching this game.